part 3 learning experiences in CBE classrooms hello welcome to part 3 in the last topic we covered how learner centered classrooms support multiple modalities flexible student groupings and responsive facilitation based on students needs interests and strengths in this topic we will understand how classroom curriculum needs to be redesigned in a CBE classroom that will lead to learning experiences that foster engagement, agency and competence for all learners. Learning experiences also called units in CBE classrooms are designed to foster engagement, curiosity and competency in all the learners. In order to design meaningful learning experiences for students, a high-quality, learner-centered curriculum needs to be framed based on four parameters. The standardized curriculum in the traditional classrooms is not designed to help teachers create learning experiences that foster engagement, agency, and competence for all students. For this reason, redesigning curriculum is important. Specifically, a high-quality, learner-centered curriculum is built with four cornerstones. Let us look at these. First, in CBE classrooms, learning units are designed around an inquiry-driven, problem-based learning cycle. Let us understand how teachers can use this learning cycle through a four-stage process while students are synthesizing new information and expanding their existing schema on a continuous basis, inner circle. Concept may be translated into a real-life or world-related problem. In the make meaning stage, students activate prior knowledge, build new background knowledge, ask new questions and make meaning of foundational concepts and ideas as they begin to explore an overarching question or problem frame. Making meaning is the work of asking new questions, launching into new learning and beginning to understand new concepts and skills. In the second stage, that is the investigate stage, students explore their questions. They frame or reframe the problem, identify and evaluate methods, gather details and evaluate evidence. This stage ensures that students have access to learning experiences that involve deep analytical thinking, such as exploring multiple perspectives on an issue or developing conceptual frameworks to ground one's thinking and understanding. In the third stage of create and design, students apply new knowledge and skills as they construct and organize a personally meaningful and coherent content or performance. Students demonstrate their learning through rigorous, engaging performance tasks. Finally, in the communicate stage, students share, publish or perform their learning in front of others. An integral but often overlooked element of the make meaning and investigate stages is the process of synthesis and reflection. Synthesis is the work of creating new schema that aid in understanding and making connections between different pieces of information and skills. Let us now discuss the second cornerstone of learner-centered curriculum. Learning experiences or unit designs in CBE systems reflect assessment as learning, building towards competency-based performance tasks. They are meant to prepare learners for post-secondary pathways. Tired assessments and revision cycles are two important strategies that ensure 
assessment is in the service of learning in CBE classrooms. Tired assessment strategy, also called just in time, is a flexible method in which assessments are given to students at their request when they are ready to demonstrate proficiency. This method provides sufficient time for students to acquire and apply knowledge, practice skills and develop independent and collaborative learning habits. It allows students to self-pace their journey towards grade level standards. The learning experiences in CBE classrooms should reflect assessment as learning and competency-based performance tasks. This involves moving away from traditional examinations that are often strictly for the purpose of evaluation to outcomes that are performance-based and that have meaning and importance beyond school. A cornerstone of competency-based models, performance tasks, ensure that students are engaging in tasks that will help prepare them for college and career. The third element of learner-centered curriculum ensures that learning experiences are modular and well scaffolded. In CBE classrooms, the study content is designed in the form of small comprehensive modules and each module is self-contained. Modular content follows a learning arc that culminates in some demonstration of readiness to advance to the next module. In essence, modules become scaffolding for each other and this scaffolding is personalized for each student based on their needs. Modular design is powerful because it enables students to move on or come back to the specific module as and when they need. There is no compulsion of redoing an entire course because they were unable to demonstrate proficiency in content and skills within a set time. Students can move through modules in ways that make sense for their learning profile. Modularity and scaffolding help students remember and understand new content and allow them to analyze and synthesize it in significant ways. Fourth, learning experiences in CBE systems are culturally responsive and reflect principles of universal design to foster agency in students. Universal design for learning refers to the concept that educators and schools should be actively engaged in designing tools, learning experiences and approaches to lower or eliminate the barriers that students face. With a deep grounding in brain research, Universal Design for Learning UDL provides guidance on the design of learning opportunities that will allow learners with a broad range of strengths and gaps to engage with learning in deep and meaningful ways. CBE classrooms encourage culturally responsive teaching wherein teachers use the cultural knowledge, prior experiences, frames of reference and performance styles of ethnically diverse students to make learning encounters more relevant to and effective for them. Teachers focus on students' agency and enhance their capacity and propensity to take purposeful initiative. They strive to achieve a balance between the support provided to students and the expectations from them. Too much support without high enough expectations for effort and production tends to diminish students' agency and their personal orientation towards mastery. But the opposite is also true. Expectations that are beyond students' ability without appropriate academic and social-emotional support are disempowering for most learners. Let us now summarize the points that we have covered in this topic. We have discussed four cornerstones of a learner-centered curriculum in a CBE classroom. Learning units are designed around an inquiry-driven competency-based learning cycle 
and directed towards the application of learning. Design of learning units reflects assessment as learning, building towards the completion of challenging competency-based performance tasks that prepare learners for post-secondary pathways. Units are modular and well scaffolded with meaningful opportunities for student-driven investigation and student choice about how learning time is spent. Units are culturally responsive and reflect principles of universal design for learning, offering meaningful choices that affirm and build upon the strengths, interests and identities of each learner. Great! You have completed the topic on learning experiences in CBE classrooms. This completes module 4. Next, we will start with part 2 of the course which is competency-based assessment. Till then, goodbye.